Good morning, dear student. This is Mr. Abdurrahman Dawi with another uh, problem solving. Uh, this is a question was sent by Mr. Mehdi. He's talking about a farm that has three different types of creatures. Uh, the first type is a chicken, and the second part is a duck, and the third type is actually a pig. Chickens, ducks, pigs. We're gonna try to translate this is a ratio problem, so we're gonna explain it step by step. So the ratio between them, I'm gonna refer to C. C is referring to the chicken, D is referring to the ducks, pig is referring to the pigs. It's saying that the ratio number of chickens to the number of ducks is seven to two. Seven to two is actually the ratio between chickens and ducks. And also suggesting that the ratio between the, uh, the ratio of the numbers of ducks to the number of pigs is equal to 5 to 9. So we have two different lines here to compare ratios. Okay. And let's say that the number of pigs, pigs or P, I'm gonna use P equal to 36. Okay, so the number of pigs, the number, this is not the ratio, because the ratio is given here. So the number of pigs is equal to 36. He wants you to know the number. I'm going to change the color here so you understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to use he want, saying that number of pigs equal to 36. He wants to know the number of chicken. So he wants to know the number of chicken. How uh, you can solve this? When, you, when it comes to the ratios problems, you need to understand what very important thing. Always know what one part of this ratio, one part is equal to. This is the very important thing. So when you try to find it, you're gonna think about it in this way. Let's say that I say that I want to know the number of number of chicken, right? What does the number of chicken represent? It's representing the ratio from our study. Multiplied in what? Multiplied of the value of one part of this ratio relation, okay? So we will say that the ratio of the chicken is represented as 7 and we will refer to the value or the value one part we're going to use that one part assume that is equal to x. So 7x is representing the number of chicken, okay? 7x is the number of chicken. <clears throat> if I say that I want to know the number of ducks we're going to use the same thing. It's going to be equal to the ratio of the ducks, which is 2 multiplied in one part. This is going to be 2x. Clear? Now, from what I know, I know that the ratio here between... Uh, I need to care about the pigs now because everything is rotating about the pigs because I need to know it's the thing that was provided and I need to build the relation between the chicken and the pig in, in a certain way. So... What I know about the pigs, I know that the ratio, the ratio between ducks and pigs are actually representing 5 to 9. So, in my equation, I know that the number of ducks is equal to 2x, right? So, if you remember, the number of pigs of course it's equal to 36 but it's equal to what in this relation you will say that the d over p is equal to 5 over 9 so it means that the pigs ratio to the ducks is equal to 9 over 5 what is the meaning of that the meaning of that that pigs is actually equal to 9 over 5 multiplied in D, 
which is representing what? D. D is representing the number of ducks. Number. Number of ducks. So the number of pigs is going to be as an expression <coughs> is equal to 36. <coughs> Sorry, I have a problem with my thought. 36, which is equal to what? Because this is representing P. 36 is equal to 9 over 5 multiplied in D. And I know that the D, or the number of ducks, is equal to 2x. So the equation is like this now. 36, which is the number of pig, equal to 9 over 5 multiplied in D. And D, which is the number of ducks, is equal to 2x. <coughs> so now... I have 36 equal to what? Equal to 18x over 5. It means that I'm going to multiply these two, which is going to be 180 equal to 18x. Now you make x the subject. So x is going to be equal to 180 over 18, which is going to be equal to 10. x, the variable, is equal to 10, if you remember what is the x. So the one part, one part is actually equal to 10 in this ratio relations, okay? And since I knew the, the value of the part, <coughs> If you remember, we said that the number of pigs in this relation. Oh, sorry, I need to care about the chicken. Where's the number of the chicken here? So the number of chicken is equal to what we said? We said the number of chicken equal to 7x, if you remember, okay? So we're going to say that this is equation 1. So we'll say from 1 number of chicken is equal to 7 7 x which means that it's going to be equal to 7 multiplied and 10 means that's going to be there is and then the ranch on the farm there is a number of 70 chickens and that's it for this problem, okay? See you in another problem. Tonight.